What's up guys? Welcome back to Life is Strange True Colors. Uh my last part it cut. Uh the video cut clip cut, so we're directly where we left off where uh where Alex was talking about Gabe about her power and stuff. So yeah. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? <clears throat> yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. <laughs> Getting beat up and having no friends? That's a super curse, dude. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there. That's... That's really special. Special. That's really your take on all this? Totally. I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. Tell me about the guitar. Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Hey, is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. You don't think... Maybe? Fuck, maybe he did. What is it? I think he went up to the mountains. If he actually did, we need to move. Now, let's go. You go up into the mountains, the adventure starts. Ethan! Come on, pick up, pick up. Alex! This way. since I was up here.
Should I be... I don't know... Freaking out right now? In my experience, freaking out is almost never advisable. Any luck? In touch base with the safety team up at the site. We're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh. At least we're not racing the clock. Hey. You good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. She's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? Hey. We're gonna find him. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, thanks again for your help. Could have been a lot worse if you hadn't kept me in the loop. Of course. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. Ah! Megan. Ah! How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Nope. 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 Super nope. Protect the peg gill gear, steer tall work boots, sturdy gloves, ref reflective gear, a positive attitude. Something tells me those two weren't the best match. Ouchie. Wow, that ducky. Dear Alex. Sussy zombie. How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? Hey, bro. Want to get wasted at the old mine? You don't realize until you're up close, but mining equipment is super murdery. Such a fucking fuck up. Gabe cares about Ethan so much. Come on, Ryan. Everyone is depending on you. Ryan won't let his fear get in the way. I'm glad he's here. What happened here? Massive cave in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this play? Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion... Is there zombie blood? Okay. Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look, then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. 
Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. Yeah, but where'd the blood at, first of all? They were gonna set off charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. Unless there's a dead guard in that barrel, I don't think this is right. is connected to the trail of blood in Ethan's comic. There's like a side door back there? I don't know. You can guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. <sighs> you figured that out from a comic book. Try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. <laughs> Ethan must have come through here. Oh, stairs, guy. Have I got some good news for you? Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. Sure, Ethan climbed these stairs. Climbed up the stairs. Wasn't in the comic. In the comic. Fucking conveyor belt, different smart. It's that.
Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. Think I'll find another way through. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Heads up! You figured out the door! Yeah, turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? Oh, what do I just go back down? Yeah, I found the jog button. This is Goofy Ha. Goofy Ha Goober. Goofy Ha Goober. Where's Gabe at? What took you so long? I oh, yeah. You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Where to next, Alex? I'm the conveyor belt onto the thing. Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. Close? Think so. Ethan! 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 Heck yeah, freaking little Susie Pizza. Alex! I'm scared! Ethan, I'm coming for you, buddy! Wait. Hold on. Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. Fear is so strong. If I get near it, it's no good. We're too heavy. Yeah, I know. Shit. What about me? Alex. Hey. Hey, are you up. sure? So I Nothing, man. Remember how I taught you how to anchor the way? Awesome. Show me. Bro, what the frick, bro? What's up, Goofy? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm alright. You sure? 
It's okay if you're not. No, I'm good. You know, I actually believe you when you say that. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady. Steady's fast. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Raiden and Nick and I'm coming. they just don't call me. So yeah. You got this, Alex. Go back! You'll get hurt. I'm not going back without you. You're stuck with me until we're both safe. to the other side. Log fell. That's fine. That's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. Gabe's got us. We're not gonna fall. He's got the other end of the rope. No, I can't move if I move. You're not gonna fall, buddy. It doesn't matter! He's not making any sense. I need him to calm down. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to- It'll see me! If I move, it'll see me! What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand Bro's is to feel what Skittles. he's feeling. I can't believe this is happening. I can do this. I can do this. Can't let it see me. Can't let it see me. 
It can't be real. Oh, but it looks pretty fucking real. Hey. Hey, I see it too, Ethan. The monster? I see it too. And I'm just as scared as you are. But Ethan, we're safe. You know why? It can't see me. Bangle of vanishing, just like Ninth Warden. I thought that was just a story. Well, some stories are true, like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Don't look down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. I'm headed back. Keep tight on the belay, game. <laughs> Not over yet. Oh god. Okay. One step at a time. Yeah, buddy. I'm still really scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. I got you. But what if you let go? Shit. Do you think the log will break? Don't worry. I got all the way across before, remember? It could still break! Our emotions are connected. I need to keep him calm. This is like the slowest thing that I've ever done. Frickin' walk, you goofies. That's it. Come on. There you go. I got you. Get knocked out. Freaking the worst thing is happening to Gabe right now, bro. He got freaking beat the crap up, and then he got freaking smacked upside the head with a boulder. Dang, 
Daniel. Oh, Daniel. Oh, Interesting. Alex didn't interact with the gnomes. Alex didn't stop at the listening station. Uh. Alex went along with Gabe's story. I saw Gabe. I feel it's the guitar. Okay, next chapter. Chapter Two Lanterns. I'm not big on speeches. Are you I've dead? always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before, until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. He booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, Long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> uh, then the fifth time. He cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. All I want to say about Gabe is, he came into this bar as a stranger, but he left it as family. Guess that's that then. What happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, 
Now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now... Now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. He's right. I was there when Gabe made the call. I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, Mac. Bag it. I'm not you saying anything. Poopy head. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that... we review the sequence of events? Hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying, pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. Okay, maybe the call got dropped. Oh, shit, I mean, it's not like... It's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. Watch your mouth, Mac. Right, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just trying... I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. you shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me interrupt. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Mm. Spare save one, uh, one person. Spare save. Why not you? That's it. Wait's over. Everyone out. Alex? Hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? For now. We'll see how long that lasts. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you... Um... It's messy, but... Do you want to come in? Sure.
you play guitar? Sort of. It was a gift. From Gabe. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. We took this a year ago. We... No way. I can't. What? We actually kept it. made her think of it really messed her up I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her well I'm gonna leave uh, this here I'm gonna go eat pizza do YouTube algorithm stuff and blah.